Hey guys, and welcome to the, probably the final video for the books. So we have the Mayas, the She's, uh, it's considered to be a protector in some parts of the southern countries, but it is too easily attached, hates to be on its own, and is a little fidgety. I really like this one, I, I do don't really know why. Like this one. The ears are really cool, the coloring. I think it's just, yeah, and the, 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 the color of the wings, whatever those things are. I guess it's, it's liony face works well for the Maya. Aww. Aww. Oh, it looks sort of oh, like Lynx. It's like twitching its ear. I like that a lot, actually. The Yami Maya. <laughs> Sub-Joker, of course. Also known as a transporter of death who is said to possess seven lives. One glare at the enemies with its glowing eyes could, in an instant, cripple their lives. Okay, I like everything but the head. Everything else looks really cool. The head just... Ugh. I mean, the skull is the right shape and everything, so it makes sense, but eh, I like the design. I'll go with it. <laughs> the T-Maya. Oh, he's so cute! A hunter monster who- I almost said monster hunter. A hunter monster who is said to have eagle eyes with night vision of a cat. Prey once targeted by its ensured a slim chance of survival. I've never really actually looked at the Mayas before, because I always just kind of threw them to the side, thinking, yeah, they're not really my thing, but... Actually, I really like- I love the little tattoo on his side, and then the wings. Nice hand legs. Yeah. I like that. They did- uh, it's a really good one. The Arabuya. It's smooth scales covering it, the body divides breeders, but the ability in combat receives no complaint. And once you get used to it, it's rather cute. The, the eyes- eye pupils are really weird. They're like a snake, like the Nagas. I like his little- he's got like a little goatee. <laughs> He's got a little tattoo on his shoulder, too. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Oh, he's got a little butt. Oh, he's got, like, the, the plating under him that goes under his butt. Okay. Mm. Again, I really, I don't think there's one yet I haven't disliked. The Churamaya. Its flexible and smooth body considered to be the most beautiful out of all Maya species quickly attracts many breeders, but it has very deep pride and does not accept cheap food. Mm. Uh, Gets curly ears. I like, yeah. They all have something on their shoulders. It's interesting. I noticed that. Does he have the heart? Oh, I guess the heart's on the head. I was like, where's the heart? Everyone's got the heart. The Mui Maya. It loves sunbathing since it can obtain energy from the sun. It is asleep for most of the day. It sulks if told off, so breeders beware. How did I not end up with this one? This one's cool. <laughs> little flower symbol on the side. Aww. Sorry, my stomach's growling if y'all can hear that. I like this one a lot too. I love the flowers around its eyes. Mm -hmm. Very distinctive. Yeah. The Fele. Its speed is certainly worth being called the embodiment of the wind. The air turns into a sharp blade as it runs through t top speed. It is not the monster you want on the wrong side. Simple and effective on this one. Mm -hmm. Right, Mumford? Yeah. You're being a very good boy. I know. You really want to play. We're almost done, buddy. You're being very good. I know. The Gapia. It is rumored that the third eye on its forehead emits a beam to turn a liar into stone. But it is only a rumor, so breeders feel safe about training it. Yeah, I actually like it. I actually like that. It looks kind of like a mouse. Which is funny, because it could be kind of like... I like the, the circle on its shoulder for the eyes. I actually like that. Wow, I've never really paid attention to any of the Mayas before. A flexible monster with glowing aura on its wings. When it's angry, it spreads its wings of aura wide to get into battle. His posture with its wings wide open is beautiful but cold appearance. Darmok, wide, arms wide. Yeah. That wasn't Darmok with his arms wide. It was um, Timba, his arms wide. Ah, that's right. Yeah, no points. Chaco in the wall. Yeah, no points for that reference. If it minus points, if you don't know that reference. <laughs> The Normaya, the most ancient type of the Maya species, its temperament is somewhat rough and shows little affection for attachment, but once it gets used to it, it quickly forgets its wild instincts. Ooh, I really like this one. I am not super flattered by it, but cat with wings. It's, yeah, it's cat with wings, basically. I kind of wish they'd give it more lynx ears. Lynxious ears. Uh, yeah. Ooh, the Haman, a precious whoa, Ooh. a precious species that possesses a beautiful white body. In eastern lands, it is praised as an agent of God and is believed to bring good luck and swipe away evil. So I guess it's supposed to be the Asian lion. Yeah. It's 
cool. It just surprised me. That's why I went, ugh, I just, I wasn't expecting that. I like it, though. I liked all the Mayas. Like, that kind of surprises me. Why haven't I really played with Mayas? With the exception of the Joker one? I mean, I would have been, like, most of the Joker one I liked. It's just the skull, not so much, but... Cablo, wait under the big tree in the forest and cover it with honey. It might be lured by the smell of honey and come wandering about. Very popular among kids who like insects. I like Pyrrhoros. The scale effects is very nice. Yeah. I like how they put the little horns, horns on, on his ears. ears. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, you can see his eyes pop out on the side here. Oh, interesting. So when he closes his mouth, his eyes pop out to the side. You can see it right there. Yeah, I like interesting. that. Interesting. Don't know if I'd re realized that or remembered. Yeah, in the fights, his eyes pop out to the side. And when he's just being front, I like that effect. I, that might be one reason I like the Peter Rose. I feel like they were really well designed to be unique. Dora, a monster with its pride held up high with the soul of a dragon resided in it, but it is not able to blow fire. It keeps on training day and night to build up its skills and performance. Little wing ears. Yeah, I like the dragon one. Oh, he's got like, they look like little tails underneath. He's got little belly scaling underneath his ears there. I wish I could get a better picture of his eyes. That's the best one I can do. Death Clown. A feared monster who is known as a clown from hell. It serves the Monster King, although its true intentions are not known. Is it with you or against you? That is up to the breeder to decide. It's probably the best sub-joker I've seen this entire time. Yep. I love the ears. It will sickle you. Let's see if I can get its eyes to come out. Yeah. It's generally the same color, but I just wanted to see. Huck Claw. Ugh. Its cooing is said to be the cutest among the Piero species. There are breeders who train this monster because it wants to hear it coo. But beware as it does so from very early in the morning. Coo, coo, I really coo. like this one except the red eyes. Why did they do red eyes? It's so weird. I love the wings, though. You can see his feet are kind of like the little birdie color. Ah, yes it is. See, he's got... His eyes aren't nearly as... I guess they're still red, but... A flexible body with wavy moves, as well as a fondness to please spectators with its performances. Its popularity among breeders is understandable. A monster to be raised at least once. Or not. Not a fan of this one. Its ears remind me of those little hip blocks for noise. Oh, yeah! Clunk, clunk. Do you look like those? Flower? It's okay if you call me Flower. <laughs> you can call me Flower if you want to. It has great talent and performance with its light and flexible movements like leaves blown, being blown in the wind. Scientists are not so sure of its ability to battle, however. E what? Did I cut Eat you off? You, yeah, well. No, I was gonna make a joke, but it failed. Yeah, we through. had a we had a flower. Ooh, da, da, da. A monster covered in smooth fur. Not only is it affectionate, it's very quick at learning tricks. But it is rather a spoiled baby, and tends to ignore people who it does not know. Green eyes. Oops. Let me Oops. go back, and I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let me finish viewing it. Like I said, I can't turn off the animations once they start, so... I like that design. It's very mm -hmm. simple. I'm not sure what I think about the green eyes. I think yellow eyes would have made more sense to me, but... I'll go with green. Salom. The red eyes that dance in the dark forest are scary indeed. It slowly creeps up on its enemies, and its attacking capabilities are known for their deadliness. I'm a shiny thing part Zan. Yeah. I like it though. Mm -hmm. For part Zan, it's actually pretty cool. Mm -hmm. See his red eyes there. Hi, hi. Kirirodo. It looks like an eye that floats inside a mouth. It looks like an eye that floats inside a mouth. The mysteriousness is somewhat cute. A clown like monster who uses many performances. <laughs> Zuburu. It lives in the wild to entertain the Nordamans. 
but it used to suffer sudden attacks at times, which prompted its body to develop camouflaging capabilities. Tiger. Zebra. Or zebra. I guess it could be a white tiger or a zebra. I guess a white tiger bet it would be a better one. Or maybe it's a white zebra. Oh, that's interesting. So like orange eyes when they come oh. out on the side. That's interesting. Gold Piero. The Gold Piero is known as the genius performance monster. Its performance moves anyone who comes by to watch. Early acknowledged to be a genius who mesmerizes spectators even in battle. So, is he Goldilocks just right? <laughs> Whoa, his eyes are like pure yellow. It's kind of weird looking. Silver Piero. <laughs> it is said that the Silver Piero was once defeated by the Gold Piero, even though it is well known for being a monster genius in the art of performance. It's interesting he's got like a little symbol there on his tummy. It's his second place badge. Oh, is it? I don't know. I just make things up. Makes me wonder if the gold one has a symbol as well. Let me guess, bronze? Oh, no, Beklon. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Um, so we'll go back to the rivers real quick and look at the rivers. Um, so that's it for Monster Hunter EVO. Um, I have no plans at the moment to come back and do any more. We've recorded everything in the book. So I believe that's the end of that. Um, so as far as what's coming up in the future, I'll probably have a channel update video explaining that, but um, these videos are going to be coming... Well. Why would I say every other day? Because this is the last one, so duh. But um, I'm probably still doing Princess Maker 1. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what my plans are right now. We, there's a lot of stuff going on right now with the, the COVID-19 and and all this. And of course, I'll I'll talk about it in a channel update video probably. If it hasn't already come out by this point, it'll be coming soon. So um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time for the next LP. I hope you enjoyed Monster Rancher EVO and have an awesome day. Bye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mumford. Goodbye. <laughs>